Oh god. What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, wow, that felt weird. I said my. Um, I usually with Valerie and say welcome back to our channel. But Valerie's not here today, she's at cheer practice. Yesterday we recorded the vlog of us going to buy my MacBook and all of that stuff that will be going up tomorrow, which is Monday. I'm going to try to get this video up the same day I record it, so like as soon as I record it, edit it, get it up. But what I wanted to do today was unbox my MacBook Pro. Like It's right here. I got the MacBook Pro with the touch bar, 13, 13 inch, okay. It's like 13.4 or something. But I've already opened it. I've taken like the wrapper and all that off. I even used the charger and stuff. So, but I just wanted to unbox it for y'all in case any of y'all want to get one. In case y'all are wondering what it looks like and all that stuff. Because I never really went into depth about it. And since I've already used it for a day, I've already started editing yesterday's vlog on it. So I kind of have a little bit of experience playing with it and stuff. And so I can like give y'all a review, tell y'all how I feel about it, and if it's worth your money, because it costed a pretty penny. Okay guys, so I'm sitting at my desk right now, and uh, yes, I have on shorts. I'm not just chilling here butt naked doing this. Um, but I wanted to show y'all this angle so like, y'all can see what it looks like whenever I'm opening everything up. So you open it up, you have the MacBook set on top. You, let me try to get this out without like, dropping it in the floor. Uh, okay. Oh no. Okay, right, so... You get it out of the box. It's really, really thin. So that's what it looks like once you pull it out of the box. And you have the charger, the charging block, and some little manual thing. I'll look at it in a minute. All right, you have the MacBook right here. There's no USB ports right here. And there's like no ports, no HDMI. There's USB-C ports and a headphone jack. That's all there is. Um. This is what it looks like when you open it up. Um, already start, I've already set it up and everything. I've started editing, but right here, it has the unlock with Touch ID. I just put my finger on there and it unlocks. Um, this is yesterday's vlog. Alright, it was recorded yesterday, but it's going up tomorrow. So whenever y'all see this vlog done it'll be going up tomorrow but so far I don't really have anything bad to say about it um could have been a little bit more cheaper yeah it definitely could have been cheaper and the fact that there's even more expensive ones like you can get ones with like crazy amounts of storage a one there's one more with a bigger screen it's like 15 inch screen but I just want to do like an actual unboxing of it in case like one of y'all wanted to get one or something in case like for my instance I'm starting college right now so I need a laptop. I already have a laptop, but I figured why not go to a new one because this one will help me with editing and stuff. It's Apple, so it'll connect to my phone and do everything like that. I'm a pretty big Apple fan, but a lot of their products are expensive, and I tend to break a lot of everything, like anything. But like I said earlier, Valerie, she's not here right now. She's at cheer practice, but there's probably she probably wouldn't know anything about it. Um, honestly, even if she was here, so she'd probably just be sitting over there on the bed or something. But this right here, if you want to see a video on my setup, I got, oh, I'm about to go buy a new monitor probably. But I got my Xbox and all that stuff. Um, I used to actually, here's a funny story. Whenever I was like 14, 14 through like 16, bro, I was obsessed with playing video games. When I was like 14, no, I'd say 13, 13, I created a YouTube channel when I was like 13. I was posting gaming videos and stuff. That shit was getting like one view. And, um, no, nah, it really did. It probably was getting like one or two views. But, um, if y'all, I got a, all kind of stuff. I built my own computer down here. Shit looking wild. Look like a spaceship. Um, that's what I used to use for editing and stuff was my computer down there. That's what I built it for, for like live streaming video games and stuff. All kind of nerdy shit. But I've kind of strayed away from playing video games and stuff because I got college, work, um, a girlfriend. And I know in the last vlog, I believe, I believe it was the last vlog, I talked something about doing a story time. This is probably what it'll look like, and I'll sit here and tell y'all stories. So if y'all want to see story time, drop a like. So I'm going to show y'all around the MacBook a little bit more. I don't know how well focused this is going to be or how well y'all be able to see. But like down here on the touch bar, 
you have like everything you have volume and like the split a clip or something I can do all that from there I'm still learning how to um use the Mac operating systems so that's been pretty interesting so far I've really had no clue at all what I'm doing and then like right here you go to the Safari you can pull up any of your favorites and stuff like go to YouTube click it you can hit right there the search button it'll take you all the way back up there you can go to a different favorites like Google um, in my opinion, I believe if you're going to do editing and stuff like the touch bar is worth it But otherwise, I don't really see a use to have the touch bar. I mean like the touch ID unlocks cool Oh, well, you can pull up Siri. All right. I don't know how well y'all can see that. I try to make it focus as best as I could but um I hope that gives y'all a better like look into like what the MacBook Pro looks like it's I think I really like the design of everything Apple like I don't like wearing my phone cases because the iPhones and stuff just look so good but I have to wear a phone case because I believe it was my I want to say my junior year me and two of my buddies were riding around in his truck and for some reason I thought it was a great idea to throw my phone out his truck window going down the highway I don't know what I was thinking I just threw it like, I wasn't mad, I, wasn't, I just thought it'd be funny, like, hey, if I throw it, because it was supposed to land in the grass, but whenever I threw it, it hit the concrete curb, nah, it, my phone was bent. I believe I still have it, hold on, I'm going to go see if I still have it, I'll show you. Hey guys, I found the iPhone, this is the one I threw out the truck window. I don't know if you can tell, um, I'm looking over here, I know I'm looking over here, I'm trying to get it to focus, but like, it's bent, like, right there, and... You can see it. <laughs> but anyways, it's like shattered. Two pieces. But the story I had behind this was I really like the design and like the sleek style of all the Apple products. Like they look very good. And the MacBook, it's like a very sleek design. So like I really enjoy that about it. And then like the iPhones and stuff. But the reason I always wear cases on my iPhone now is because whenever I did this, my grandparents, they used to always pay for my stuff. Um... I used to get crap about that a bunch because I always give me really nice things. But um, they told me if I ever broke a phone without a case on it, they would never buy me a new one. Well, I broke this phone without a case on it. I didn't tell them how I broke it because then I really would have never got another phone. But I went half my junior year carrying around an iPad. Yeah, I was one of those kids. Like, I pull up to the school parking lot to hang out with my buddies. I had an iPad sitting in the middle of my car in the console. So now, this is my phone. I have not taken this case off of it. I even have tape that we use at work to hold the case together. Um, the screen is shattered. Well, the screen protector is shattered. But I've never taken this. Well, I've taken the phone out of the case like once or twice. But I've had the same phone since I broke this one. This is like a 6 plus and this is a 7 plus. If y'all want to see me talking about me breaking more crap um, and unboxing new technology or whatever. I'm always buying new stuff. Always buying Valerie new stuff. And before y'all get like the wrong look at this, like, oh, he's bragging, he got a MacBook and all that. Um, no, I'm not trying to brag. I was just, I'm like, just trying to show y'all, like, hey, if you get a MacBook, this is what it's going to look like and all this. And like, try to tell y'all about it and let y'all know, like, hey, it is very expensive, but in my opinion, it's worth the money. So I'm not trying to brag or anything. Because, I mean, I did have to pay for it myself. It's not like someone just bought it and handed it to me. And if you did enjoy this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and go share with a friend. Thank y'all all so much for the support on my most recent videos, the vlogs and stuff, the challenge videos. But I'm done with this video now, so.